What's going on everybody, Naptime Mutt, and I'm back at it again with another banger today. Today we come into it with a cheese eye form running kid. Uh, he constantly would just run the ball with Bo Jackson, and uh, no fun to play against. If you've played those people, you know it is no fun. Starting out, getting cheese. And that should have been foreshadowing for what was going to come during this game. Coming out, looking for a route. I can't get anything to go over the top. I'm trying to get square, and it's too late. He comes in getting the sack. And I could tell he was wanting to send some pressure. So next play, I'm coming out, double teaming that defensive end, trying to roll out and see something. I pick it up, climb through the pocket, quick dot. Nice on the sideline, Brandon Marshall. This card is a very good card, especially when this video was recorded. Uh, Odell at running back, no matter what point in the year, never good. He's never a good running back. But I don't think that's Odell's fault. I mean, no running back can be good at 5'11", 180 pounds. But we're coming up looking deep and can't get anything to go. Honestly, lucky that wasn't intercepted. I uh, thought it was there. It was, who knows what I'm saying. But I'm coming back, touch pass, another one. <clears throat> Just not close, not close enough. It's You can try all you want, inaccurate for no reason, pocket dead eye, but we can just act like I don't have that ability. But uh, looking out, fourth down, this is a big fourth down. I need to get something to go here. Uh, opening drive, you always wanna get some sort of points out. I'm trying to get a wheel concept, get them both going, locked. Don't know what I saw, don't know why I threw it. One for five now, this is not a good start. He comes out running eye form again, and I am scared. I do not like this. But surprising enough, next play, he comes out passing. I'm lurking it with the user, trying to get over top. Just dropped it. And DK Metcalf and Lawrence Taylor just get absolutely clamped up by Terry McLaurin. And now we're coming into this game down 7-0. Never what you want, but never scared. We're coming out, trying to get this going because I know his defense was not very good and I'm running it back with the Texas route, Tiki Barber getting open. That's a big play, backfield master coming in clutch, got us down at his 36 now. I'm coming out, looking to get a corner out, trying to find it. I can see the post, hot one. Hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. And Randall Cunningham's trying to play catch with a fan. I don't know what he's doing. This Randall Cunningham card was dookie. I least favorite quarterback I've played with. But Brandon Marshall, he's nice. He's legit. Coming in clutch with a big corner route. Tiki Barber underneath, trying to fight into the end zone, but still getting us down at the three. I'm running in Odell at running back, and he just gets absolutely stuffed. I mean, 180 pounds. A D tackle is going to clamp that. Coming out, I see I'm trying to get a pass in, but his defense just was looking fruity, and I go for the fullback dive. And I somehow got three yards from the three yard line without scoring, but it doesn't matter. I'm coming in and selling the read. I get it, circle was open. Don't type about it, I don't want to hear it. Underneath route coming in, easy six yard gain for him. That's not what we want. And he can tell I'm in a bad defense because he's coming out in this big running set. I'm staying in three, four, trying to stop him from Bo Jackson cheesing me. But the problem with that is having a bunch of linebackers on the field means you have a bunch of people that are playing with their toenails. They don't play football. But luckily we get Junior Seau, 86 overall, coming in clutch. Biggest player of his life. We got Alec Ogletree as the user. I know he's not gonna do much, but at least I'm trying to get something. I see he wants it underneath. I'm coming down and I don't know why I held for the pick. I knew there was no way he was getting that. Just too natural an instinct and he's hurrying up. And now, a little nervous with this defense I'm in because if he runs the ball, I should be fine. But if not, I, he could really gash me open. And that's exactly what he's trying to do. Coming out, running cross bunch. I, I get a stop, but he still gets a first down. Four for four, 75 yards. We're really having trouble stopping this kid here. I got a linebacker manned up on the running back, so there's someone on a motion in the receiver, and I know that's a run, but somehow he just wiggles out of it, and Bo Jackson, crazy acceleration, getting 10 yards. He's running no huddle, but honestly, I'm not scared of that now because I know he's gonna run it again, and he passes instead, and we get blessed by the Madden guys, and he misses that crossing route. That is huge for us comes out dumping it down and he got way more yards off the dump off than he was supposed to 18 yards from that I'm putting all my linebackers back in the deep deep blue I'm trying to stop him from going deep and he just continues to go down dump off the rock and get little measly yards 
Runs the ball, Jack Youngblood coming in huge on second and third. Pushing him into a third and third. I think he's gonna run the ball. I get down there, get the pick. No, of course not. No reason for a pick, no reason for an acrobat to work ever. And I'd honestly just like to thank the developers at EA for revolutionizing a new way of gaming by making their program not work. It is one of a kind. Uh, coming out, clamping the run, second and nine. And uh, hopefully he goes back to it, but he doesn't. He wants to pass, and we're getting a big sack there. That's stopping him. Two seconds left at the end of the half. And we're going in down 10-3. And the worst part about this all is that he gets ball to start the half. So we're going to have to wait a while to try and chew into this lead. He's coming in back and single back, and he's running the ball. Wouldn't have expected. And my, <laughs> my safety bumps another safety, and my corner is just getting thrown. This is not a good look. I come back in blitzing, and he passes. This kid did a lot of switching up, but it's too late. Why would you pass? You know you're garbage. And that is exactly what we needed to try and come back in this game. Come back out. I see he drops his corners. He got caught on a D tackle. Nothing there, but he's got everyone out in coverage. I broke it up. Playmaker. We got Kadarius Tony out on the route. Real demon time. That's the exact type of play we needed to come back and try and fight this lead. Going out, trying to get a corner out. I see he's not leaving anything open. I just got to take the underneath, really get a lucky animation and get a 10 yards on it. Put us up in a second and inches coming out. He keeps dropping everyone in coverage, only blitzing two. somehow getting pressure still. But Randall Cunningham, 94 speed, climbs the pocket and gets out. I'm coming in. Odell at running back. Dive cheese. The ball's in front of the line. It's an easy touchdown. Out onto the kickoff. And I forgot to kick it to his fullback. But I mean, kickoff returns in this game are so rare that... Well, I stand corrected. James Bradbury misses the final chance tackle, and now he gets a kick return touchdown too. This is not good. Back down, down 10 again. I mean, it's like I just tried for nothing. But I'm not here to complain. I'm here to win. Coming out with the corner route streak, I find Plaxico Burris. Big dot coming down here. Plaxico answering the kick return touchdown, and that is 14 points in like, what, 20 some odd seconds? But my main goal is to try and stop this run. Bo Jackson is going to tear me up if I do not focus on him. And I know he's going to want to chew the ball, try and get some points, and not leave me with much time to get down the field. So he's coming in two runs back to back, but the D-line is coming in clutch. Even though it's a short game, though, he still gets his X-Factor activated, which is not good. Coming in two easy crossing routes. Big hit, but doesn't do anything. Runs no huddle because he can see that I'm in a weird defense, especially if he wants to run the ball now with X Factor Bo Jackson. He flips the play, so I got to switch my coverage, flip it back so it's normal, and he runs to the weak side and gets 10 yards off a simple run because that X Factor allows him to break his first tackle every time. Comes in running PA boots and he goes forward for one yard it looked like he went back that would have taken his x-factor away and been huge but instead bo jackson is still going to run rampant on my defense calvin johnson bouncing off him that x-factor just completely taking him out to play he comes in getting the truck runs it back bo jackson straight up the middle bounces off two bounces off and he falls forward for like an extra three four yards on that play and he's running no huddle i think because he thinks he can score so the mindset is i gotta watch out for bo jackson but you know i still gotta watch out for the pass as well because if he scores quick that's not good at all and we're coming in trying to get the stop and lawrence taylor comes from behind getting him out i'm using lawrence taylor trying to get in there so i have someone that can guarantee you know block shed and now he's chewing clock Setting up my user. I bite for the play action. And Larry Kasanka just says, no worries. You can have that third down. And I appreciate it, friend, because I have him on my team. So that's saying no, he's a Giants player at heart. And Julio Jones with a game-saving interception drops straight out of his hands. And that is, that is one we really wish we could have, especially now, because it's going to be impossible to stop him on the goal line, considering he's going to break every the first tackle. And 
And exactly like I said, it's going to be impossible to stop, but luckily he misses the extra point. And that really opens up the door because now it's only a nine point game and a field goal can really do us big. Brandon Marshall, big dot running that C route on the sideline. I'm double teaming the DNs because I don't want any outside pressure because I need to roll out to try and get this corner out. Corner route over the top. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Troy Polamalu gets swerved on Brandon Marshall in the end zone for the touchdown. That is huge. It is a two point game now. I have all three timeouts as well. He comes in running play action. I'm back with there and a big sack. Lawrence Taylor, the greatest defensive player of all time. Don't want to hear otherwise. We're coming in there, stopping him and he gets no yards. Now coming out on third down, I switched to cover four dime because I need all my DBs on the field. There's no way he's running this. And I got two BBs outside and James Bradbury comes up with the pick at the 37. I don't know what he's doing or what he saw there, but that puts me in field goal range now. And I'm about to hit him with his own medicine. I'm coming in running that stretch RPO and I'm trying to get some easy yards. And even though it didn't work, we still burn a timeout, 53 seconds left. And I realize that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to throw lasers. Underneath throughout Tiki Barber, truck some big boy gets down to us third in inches now. That is huge for us because if I need an inch, simple play. Larry Sanka, dive cheese. And we get the first down. Nats game. This kid doesn't even call his last time out. I'm not risking anything. I'm running the same play right back. Larry Sanka, give him the ball and let him finish this game out. You can tackle me behind the line of scrimmage, but if I hit this field goal, and it's accurate, you know what's dropping. We're coming in clutch with a 24 to 23 victory, a nail biter again, boys. Thank you to everyone who stayed to the end of the video. If you did, I appreciate it. We came in clutch with that 331 yards for Randall Cunningham, two touchdowns, and a lot of big defensive plays. That is really where it came in clutch because stopping this run, no matter what team he has, especially this year, stopping the run is impossible. So I'm glad we came out, came on top, beat a cheeser because that's the way Madden's supposed to be played. I appreciate it. Y'all stay blessed, stay safe, deuces.